All parties Suriyat conference has said that the Kashmiris have been enduring the consequences of India's illegal occupation for the past 77 years. In a statement issued in Srinagar, APSC spokesman advocate Abdul Rashid Minhas highlighted that the occupation has transformed occupied Kashmir into a militarized zone. Seven persons, including a doctor, were killed and five others were injured in an attack in the Gandharbal district on the Sunday evening. The incident occurred after the gunman attacked an Indian construction company in Zedmore Tunnel, Gagangir of the Srinagar Leh Highway area of the district. Political experts and analysts have highlighted that the growing collaboration between India and Israel in coordinating their strategies of occupation in occupied Kashmir and Palestine. They argue that the tactics employed by Israel in Palestine are increasingly mirrored by India in occupied Kashmir. Delhi police detained members of the All India Student Association as they protested outside the Ladakh Bhavan in support of the climate activist Sonam Vangchuk. Vangchuk is currently seeking a meeting with the top leadership to discuss the demands for the sixth schedule status for Ladakh, among other concerns. National Conference leader Agha Ruhullah Mehdi expressed optimism that occupied Kashmir Assembly will pass a resolution for the restoration of the Article 370 during its first session. In a statement on the X space, Mehdi, who is also the Lok Sabha MP from Srinagar, stated, I expect that the resolution on the restoration of Article 370 would be the first business. If not the first business, I anticipate it will be passed in the first session of the Assembly. A devastating fire swept through the main chalk in the Sopo town of the Baramulla district during the night between Sunday and Monday that destroyed five shops and partially damaged the bank ATM. A 70-year-old man was mauled to death by the stray dogs, while four others were injured in the Manchua area of the Badgam district.